to remember that the politicization of these vaccines started back in the presidential campaign. And it was started by Vice President Harris, you know, who said that I will not take a vaccine um, that's approved by Trump or by Trump's regulators. That put this in a totally different area that allowed it to be politicized, and that politicization is continuing now. And, and third, I really do think that your question uh, to the Surgeon General was on point. Uh, this is going to harden opposition. Uh, sometimes when you're a leader, you have to go in and use a sledgehammer. And I've been known to do that when I was governor. Sometimes it's appropriate. But this one was not the time to do it. We have to be persuasive. We have to continue to persuade. And I know that How takes time. How do you respond time. to the argument that that wasn't working? And that when you look at the mandates, whether it's the Veterans Department, whether it's DOD, whether it's the workplaces like Tyson's that Dr. Murthy uh, cited, that when you have the mandates, they work. Look, working for the government and ordering government workers to um, have to have a mandate, there is one thing. Extending that to two-thirds of all the jobs and making it either get vaccinated or not, is, it's also contradictory logically, George. Because what they're telling us is, by all the data, that vaccinated people are very, very well protected from anyone who's unvaccinated and who has it. Yet they're saying to us, we have to do this to protect you. Well, that's protecting the unvaccinated from the unvaccinated. They're making choices.